Welcome, dear I. I'm a 4 1 splenic projector with seven undefined centers, just spleen and root defined, just like you. Yep. The mind in my chart is completely open, with no gates activated in head or ajna. Most of the time, I'm in my own aura and I'm recognizing that there are not many emotions. Oh, yeah. When the sun is shining, I feel happy. I like to go outside. When it's cloudy, there is absolutely no lust for leaving the house. Yeah. The first thing I do in the morning is sit for meditation for half an hour, drink a glass of brine water. So far, so good. And now comes the weird part. Most of the day, I am connected to the internet, listening to satsang, interviews, podcasts, inspiring stuff, and in between emotional formats like singing, auditions, competitions. I'm also doing research if someone invites me for that, or if I'm interested in something like human design. Now to my question. I am good in being alone and I love it, as long as the internet is available. I ask myself if I'm filling up my head all the time, and if so, why? With this completely open mind and these seven undefined centers, it could be possible to be very much in the moment, couldn't it? Do you feel invited to share something about this topic, dear I? Thank you for everything and much love. Okay, the question. I am good in being alone. And I love it, as long as the internet is available. I ask myself, if I am filling up my head all the time, and if so, why? Okay, so the question is, are, am I filling up my head all the time? And if so, why am I doing this? With this completely open mind and seven undefined centers, it could be possible to be very much in the moment, couldn't it? Yes. All right. <clears throat> so let's start with this. So with the completely open mind, you can absorb things like you are. You can get inspired by anything easily, easily. And you can get derailed by anything easily. You're going to open the news. You're going to see something your whole day goes to the toilet. Or you're going to open up something you enjoy and you're going to fill your head up and that's going to be amazing. So I'm the same, right? I have maybe one gate in the head or two gates in Ajna, something like that. Very, very little definition, very little gates at all in the upper centers. And I completely enjoy absorbing information. If it's something that I like, I could be reading it and listening to it for days. I could be sitting in my room. I don't need people. I can look at things, absorb things. And yes, it pulls you out of the present moment. Yes, you're not in your body. Most often you're not in your body as you're doing all this. If you're just learning, if you're just absorbing, if you're not doing like movement while all of this is happening. But yeah, anytime you spend the mind, the air element on absorbing, you're not going to be fully embodied doing either breathing or, you know. So... You are filling up your head <clears throat> all the time. Um, but I'm going to tell you a few things. The difference between an embodied, really useful, empowered projector and a one that is not that is studying. So there's a big difference in the presence and aura field of projectors that have spent time studying something that they can then use and those that either don't know their projectors or they are projectors but they're kind of everything so i i see this in my own life like immediately even before i uh, learned about human design three years ago i spent my whole life learning i've read so many books i i don't even know how much it is so many videos, podcasts, it's, it's, yeah, it's ridiculous, the amount. And that has given me the toolkit. And we need this toolkit as projectors. So that when the invitation comes, you have stuff to give. And you obviously have a knack for that. Also because you have a first line in your design, which is investigator. You are here to absorb everything, to get to the bottom of things. I, I believe you're doing the thing you should be doing. I believe you're doing this. Like, if you're enjoying it, like, 
don't be like oh is is it wrong to spend so much time alone learning no <laughs> if it's if it's contrary to going out and nobody listening to you and nobody recognizing you and you don't feel it, it, it's not fun but learning is fun for you yeah please learn please do it what is bothering you that i see is shouldn't i be more in the moment it depends you can be both you can be both but the thing that you say like um could like i have a completely open mind i have seven undefined centers it could be possible to be very much in the moment couldn't it yes and no like with all this openness it's like imagine all the open centers as windows that you cannot close in your house you have nine windows in the whole house and seven of them are broken there's nothing there there's no glass nothing so on sunny days warm days it's very easy to be in the moment there's such a beautiful breeze going through them there's warmth going through them there's air there's nice music coming from the outside it's very easy to be in the moment if the things that are coming through if it's cold outside if it's raining if there's somebody screaming no you're not going to be in the present moment because you can't shut the window <laughs> so it is possible to be in the moment depends on your environment depends on what you're listening what you're surrounded by and what you're doing so i want to reaffirm that as a projector studying the best thing you can do don't do it to a point where you can't breathe where you burn out where all you do is sit and read no don't do that but as a projector you we like <clears throat> in source material in many people in many projectors and i see it with myself is you gotta pick a system you gotta pick something and go really deep into it whatever it is so you become a master of something and yeah thank you 